Okay, I'm going to do example three by inspection now. I've got my polynomial, which is 4x to the 4 plus 0x to the 3 minus 17x squared plus 0x plus 4. And I need to write it in the form 2x plus 1 multiplied by something. Okay, so I'm going to find what goes needs to go into these square brackets so that the product of my two expressions is the original function. Now, the 2x here, to get 4x to the power 4, that would need to be multiplied by 2x cubed. And if I did that, that would give me 1 times 2x cubed, it would give me 2x cubed there. Now, I don't want to have 2x cubed in my answer. I want to have 0x cubed in my answer. So I'm going to need to have a minus 2x cubed. How am, I, how am I going to get minus 2x cubed? Well, the answer is that I'm going to write here minus x squared, because then when that multiplies by that, it gives me the minus 2x cubed that I need. Now, if I do write minus 2x squared there, that's fine, but that's going to give me a minus x squared in my answer. And I actually need to have minus 17 x squared. So I'm going to need to have another minus 16 x squared. How am I going to get another minus 16 x squared? Well, I'm going to write minus 8 x here, because then the 2 x times the minus 8 x would give me that minus 16 x squared. But if I write a minus 8 x there, then I'm going to end up with minus 8 x. So I'm going to need to have a plus 8x to take me back to 0x's, look, because I need 0x's over here. So I'm going to need to have plus 8x, which means that I'm going to need to write plus 4 here, because then that would give me the plus 8x. But if I write plus 4 there, then I'm going to end up with 1 times 4 here, which is fine, because I want to end up with 4 at the end. So that is my answer complete. And there you go. And the question says, giving your answer in the form fx equals 2x plus 1 multiplied by ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, which I have done.